Will this rental property make out-of-state investors like you money? Let's find out. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey, folks. Welcome to another episode of the MLS Search Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. I'm James Wise, and I'm doing another video for my clients from California, Jerry and Lisa. You guys are out-of-state real estate investors, right? We've been working together to help you guys build your portfolio here in the Cleveland market, right? We got prices that y'all don't have out there in California. That's what we do here at Holton Wise. So anybody else who's watching this show, uh, you want to work with me and my team like Jerry and Lisa have been doing, just send us an email, sales at HoltonWise.com. Give us your phone number. We'll walk you through the process. Or you can click the show notes below for more info. But back to Jerry and Lisa, right? Uh, we've been working to get that uh, 1031 squared away. You guys got to get $400,000 worth of properties. We just put that Lakewood quad under contract, and I'm doing three videos for you today. I just finished the duplex, uh, and this is another duplex. Very, very, very similar, right? It's The numbers are pretty damn close. The returns are the same. The neighborhoods are even the same. 2194 West 85th, right? Very close to the other one, okay? So the other duplex, uh, it was like right up in here. Here, we're over here, right? So again, you got like D, and then it's like C, and then up in here, you know, this is all real nice, right? This is like the Edgewater area too, and then over here you got Lakewood, right? So we're, we're like on the border of a lot of different quality neighborhoods, right? So like CD type neighborhoods, right? But that's what you guys told me you wanted to uh, start looking at, right? Some of the two unit stuff. This one I think is overpriced just like the last one, 99.5. But this one's definitely in a little bit better shape. We have a newer roof on this one. Uh, the mechanicals look, mechanicals look pretty good. We have one tenant in there. They're paying six and a quarter. The other unit's vacant. We're going to have to give that one some love, but then we'll get the tenant in there at market rate immediately, right? So seven fifty. So thirteen seventy five is going to come in at sixteen and a half coming in off the bat for you guys uh, for the year, right? So. You know, average annual expectations of performance, 16 and a half comes in. I anticipate a little bit over eight going out the door, leaving you guys with a little over eight in your profit, right? So the photos are of the vacant unit. We don't have photos of the occupied unit, which is normal. Uh, but, you know, you got to assume, right, when you have a occupied unit, you got to assume that you'll have to do some type of turnover post that tenant moving out, which is why we always put the repair and maintenance uh, cost estimates in your charts there right so this is the empty unit and don't look bad this is really where i'd like to spend the money i'd like to spend ten thousand dollars updating the kitchen uh giving the kitchen some love right like i these floors dude those are like super old school the fake faux brick i don't like it you got like the i don't even know what to call those like like this on the wood right from like the <laughs> from like the 60s or something right so i want to upgrade this kitchen now as far as the rest of the unit it looks pretty good to me i think we got to do the floors i think they said like one room the floors were not refinished but like this all looks pretty good it looks like they got this pretty much rent ready i don't have a picture of it but they said in the notes somewhere that one room needed some flooring work but this all looks good we like to go with the agreeable gray they went with the cream theme we used to do the cream theme uh, so I don't think we need to get rid of the cream theme. Now, if our people get up close and there's scuffs and stuff, obviously that'll add to the budget. But I don't think we have to mess with the rest of the unit. I really want to spend the entire 10 uh, making that kitchen look good, right? Because everything else looks pretty solid to me. Uh, even the bathroom is okay. The only thing I'd want to do in the bathroom is just do the same flooring here in the bathroom that we put in the kitchen, right? So the vanity, all that looks cool. My guys will probably want to replace that toilet while they're in there just because they already got to pull it to do the floor. But we'll get a matching kitchen and bath floor, bang and bathroom, uh, or bang and kitchen, nice modern looking floor. It's going to match in the bathroom. It'll look great because they already had, let's go back to that photo, they already had the... Uh, the surround all looks good. This vanity looks fine. Like everything else in here is totally fine. I just want to do those floors, make it match the kitchen. We got updated electrical panels. You got the furnaces. Mid midlife, guys, midlife, but we do have that newer roof, okay?
Are you a lender? If so, Holton Wise is looking to partner with you. If you're licensed in all 50 states, go to HoltonWise.com. Click the digital media tab to advertise on Holton Wise TV today. So, all of that stuff being considered, baked into the cake, I think we should also try to pick this one up for 80 and then, of course, we'll put the 10 into it up front. And this one's cool. I'm not anticipating any gotchas on the inspection, right? I, I anticipate probably a pretty clean inspection report. So the other one, I think we'll do some renegotiating down the line. This one, I think it'll be pretty clean. So if we can get it for 80 you put 10 into it, you're all in for 90 It's a 9.2 cap. 20k down payment if you wanted to finance it get the bank to loan you 60 then of course you got to top in another 10 on top of your 20k down payment uh, which would be an all-in cash cost if you wanted to finance it out of 30k 20 for the down 10 to renovate that unit so we get that other 750 dollars tenant that would result in a 17 and a half percent return on your money so just another solid deal i like this one quite a bit i think this is kind of what you're looking for kind of where you're wanting to take your portfolio so just reply to the private email letting us know if you'd like us to make that offer and then you had requested me to do two for you today uh which i've now finished but there is a third one i'm doing for you guys because i think it's going to make make sense for you guys i was looking at stuff for another guy and then i saw this one doesn't fit his criteria but i'm going to get into more of that on your next video which i'm going to film right now thanks for watching subscribe to holton wise tv for more financial information education and entertainment